Hello, welcome to Switched On Gaming. Paul speaking and taking a look at an upcoming Nintendo Switch game today. This is Off The Road Unleashed. Now, if you're a fan of the channel, you'll probably already know this. If you're new here, I like to look at these kind of mobile ports or ports from mobile games. These like trashy simulator driving games. And I don't know what dog bite games are doing with this one, but they have got it all wrong because this is actually brilliant let's get into some gameplay i was expecting this to be a, a you know another one of these dodgy mobile ports that are fun to play but you know you can't really hand on heart recommend them uh and this when i looked up on mobile this did actually have quite a lot of decent reviews and then when i played it i was like just absolutely amazed uh we're just gonna play some gameplay and I'll talk about it really but this is kind of like imagine um something like snow runner or mud runner but uh, a mobile version but there's so much more to it than that it, I mean straight away here you can see the fact you can walk around you can walk anywhere on the map you don't have to get in a car you don't have to drive I mean obviously it's better if you do but you know you've got freedom to walk around so you start off in a garage here whenever you save a game you can go back to a garage your cars need refueling so there's some fuel there if you want to refuel up there's five different maps in the game you can see those other ones are locked. With volcano, Red Canyon, Snowfields, the Shore, and the Islands. Got a little mini map down the bottom corner. Uh, what else have we got in here? We've got a toolbox. You can repair your vehicle when it goes up, you know, when it gets damaged. These little tutorial boards. Tell you, you can customize your car, but there's all different boards here telling you what to do. So look, look around the world. I mean, it just looks beautiful for like a, a budget mobile indie game. You know, really an absolutely stunning job. Just great job by the team. I've never heard of these guys before. What a job they've done. You actually arrive here. This is where you arrive. This is the port that you arrive from, and then you you get your first garage. But let's hop in a hop in a vehicle and have a drive around. There's just loads of missions that you have to undertake. Whether it's a delivery mission, rescue mission racing treasure hunts all sorts of different things and there's loads of different vehicles not just cars there's like helicopters planes boats all sorts it's really amazing really uh these vehicles can be interacted with so you can open up the back there chuck cargo in the back if you need to transport it refuel there actually we do need to refuel let's go and get some fuel i've got a can here but i don't know if there's that's no, empty so we need to find a fueling station there's not any way to do it around here. Oh, walking to the wall. That's not good. Hopping the vehicle. We've got a variety of um, views. You've also got this uh, clever scan button on the R button, and it will just show you where materials are. Because that's the other cool thing in this game as well. You collect materials to build stuff around the map. So we've got an internal view and a chase view. Let's get going. So it's basically, as I say, a little bit like Snow Runner, Mud Runner. Drive around the map looking for interest points. Finding hidden missions. Ah, oh, here's a refueling point. I oh, probably needed that fuel can. See if I can fuel directly. Oh, there's already a fuel can here, so that's perfect. So we'll grab the gas can. Fill it up. And then we go and fill up the car, the truck. And so the beauty is you can just stick this fuel can in the back of the back of the truck here. And you've always got it. Drop that in there. Shut that back up. And there you go. Fuel can ready to go. So we're totally refueled. Hop back in. And head off. This uh, There's a massive bridge here. I built that. That was one of the first missions. Was to find sort of wood and metal to build that up. Actually, to a different part of the island. 
But controls feel really nice. Sounds really good. I prefer this view. You got these crates as well. You can find upgrades in. Money there. You can use to buy stuff. So you go to some upgrade parts that you collect. We'll have a look at the customization. These little bits of money. So look what we've got over here. Looks like we've got a boat over here. Let's see if we can jump into that. Do some exploring. Another refuel point. Oh, I need to buy the license. 200 coins. We've got 519. So we can do that. So we could take the boat for a spin. Might come back to that in a sec. Jump and a run button. So look what's over here. We've got some money. Some wood as well. If we need a mission that needs any wood, I'll just grab the money for now. So let's take a look. We've got over here. We've got a question mark. So I've got us, uh, what's this? Pathfinder. So that's a little um, treasure hunting expedition. Let's go and have a look at that. Jump back in the truck. head over here. So say this is nothing like the other sort of mobile ports that we get on the switch. Let's start this off. So you've got to follow the green arrow and look for the purple hoops. There's a mine here, this is where you can get some rock materials from. And they go in the back of your truck. Your vehicle does take damage so you do have to be careful about Dropping down big hills and stuff. Ooh, loads of cash. I love that. And there we go. That was an easy one. It tells you the uh, the level when you go to it. So it was easy. We get 30 coins. That's all cool. So say here's a quarry. We can pick up rocks here. A little trailer. So if you find a mission that needs rocks, we're going to detach that just for now. Um, but yeah, if you find a mission that needs rocks, pick them up there. So looks like we've got another barn here. Let's hop out and have a look. So what's this telling us? Oh yeah, it's just about collecting uh, chests. But we've got a new barn, so let's have a look. Unlock for 95, we can do that. So these barns, like, as I say, when you save the game or if you get um, damaged too much, you respawn back at a barn. Got some extra parts here. We'll just have a look at the car customization in a section. Uh, in a sec second. <laughs> uh, so here's a big overview of the map. Ooh. I've been to the airport, some missions around there. You can't fly that big plane, unfortunately, but there is a helicopter there, gyrocopter, which may be fun to have a look. And then these little question marks are the little missions. Let's see if I can find a building mission. There's a transport mission over there. I'll stick a pin in that and head off that way and do that. Uh, we can spawn a trailer, but I don't think we want a trailer there necessarily. So there's our pin. We're going to head over that way to the airport and take on the, uh, I think it was a delivery mission, wasn't it? Uh, we'll go around this way. But please let me know what you think about this one below while you're... Uh, subscribing and uh, leaving me a thumbs up would be most appreciated I say I think this is probably the best of these types of games I've ever played it's just so fun we're gonna do this transport mission for 60 coins so transport 15 food into the circle so we need to find somewhere that got food let's we'll collect these coins first and then we'll have a look at the map Actually, we can just follow the arrow. It's going to point us towards the food. Uh, 
Aha. So guess probably gonna need a trailer. I'm not sure I want to pick these up one by one. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that. Even they fall out, they just split. Just great detail. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're probably going to need a trailer. Let's um, sort that out. But this is like typical of these games. Just get distracted. Like, ooh, ramp. And then, ooh, question mark. What's this one? Race him, I'm not gonna do that. Let's see if we've done this mission. Refuel point. Yes, wood. Right, we need to find that uh, garage. Let's head back towards the garage. Pick up that trailer that we spawned. Try not to hit any trees. But I mean, the performance. Look at the performance here. Going through like really detailed woodland areas not a sign of like a frame drop no slowdown no problems so pick the trailer up and hopefully we can pick up a big batch of food from that field best not to run over them. Okay, so I might have to do them one at a time. Can I open the back here? Okay. Oh, oh. I'll put a few in and then uh, we'll head back to the mission point and just see if these count. I ah! thought I was going to smash your little watermelon. Do one more and then we'll head back. Because there must be another food point, I would have thought. They're not just going to want watermelons. It's delicious. There's a watermelon. So I'll take that one out of there as well. And stick that in there. Close that up. Let's head back to the end of the runway. This here as well, over here, it was like a big hangar. And it was like um, I had to find a key to get into that. And then inside there was loads of stuff. Loads of things to find, loads of spare parts and upgrades. So it just seems to be packed full of things to do. Alright, let's have a look. Right, so we dropped off a few of those. It's still not enough. They want another seven. But let's have a look somewhere else. Got some other stuff to do. This looks like a repair job here to build something. So we need construct a combine harvester. Transport the resources to construct this combine. It needs 25 metal. So we need to find somewhere that's uh, a source of metal. Oh, there's a little hidden thing up there. I don't think we're going to be able to jump up there. So we're probably going to need some way of getting up onto the wings. Let's have a look and see if we can get into this thing. 545 for the gyrocopter license but there's the gyrocopter and you can fly this thing around the map so cool Let's see what else we got oh let's see what i mean about getting distracted like just driving around like, oh what's that i'm not going to drive the vehicle up there actually but what's in here well, i could have drove through there Could have drove through and come out the other side. I'm not sure I mentioned when this game's out. It's the 26th of August, so it's got another. Oh, another uh, week or two 
Oh, wow, I really wrecked that truck. Look at the damage model. Look at that. I absolutely totaled it by driving into the airplane engine. Misjudged that, and it's absolutely wrecked it. Wow. That is cool. Uh, we can rescue. And we go back to the nearest garage. We're on here. We've got kind of this, I don't know, battle pass system at the bottom. Of different things that we can collect with more XP. We've got an inventory of things that we've collected. So you can see there the, the key cards. But there's a little collector thon thing going on there. Also got in-game achievements. I think there's 30 of those. Loads of different things to do. You can change controls and uh, other options. Yeah, we've also got a winch as well, a bit like in uh, Snow and Mud Runner. So you press X, you can kind of decide where to put it. Now, the thing that's good here is that you can attach it to anything. Let's try it again. Use the winch. I think it's just automatic. But yeah, really good for like climbing up hills and stuff. Just winch your way there. Uh, what's this one? Checkpoint hunt. A timed hunt. Foundry. So this is where we can get metal. Ah, so we needed to get metal for building the combine, which is up here, I believe. So we picked it up. And we can get this built. That's eight. Ah, this is my fault. I'm being a douchebag with the controls. Right. One more trip should do it. Um, yeah, 26th of August this one out, and it's uh, £14.99 and $16.99, but for some reason in America it's showing as a discount at the moment. Down to thirteen dollars forty nine, I think. So, really good price. So there we go. Delivered all the resources to build the combine. Oh, we haven't, have we? One short. Thought that was done. Vehicle feels much heavier as well when you're pulling stuff. Which is cool. So there we go. So you bet we can drive that. Might need a license. Oh no, we can get straight on. Do you need any fuel? No, we're good to go. Let's have a jump on the combine. We can plow these fields so you can lower the cutter down. Awesome. I wonder if we're going to end up with a hay bale. Was that a hay bale popped out the back? It was. So this is how we make hay. Literally. So we cut these little straw fields. And the little hay bale pops out the back. So a cockpit camera. Zoomed in and zoomed out. Third person here. I was just trying to see a better view of the uh, hay bale coming out. But we should be able to see it from here. If I spin the camera. There we go. So I wonder if there's anything we can do with these hay bales. Oh, you can. You can pick them up. 
No, no, I would imagine there's probably a mission somewhere that um, wants hay bales. Maybe a stable or something like that. Actually, what is this here? Oh, I need a green card to go in there, but there's a crate in there. And an arcade machine. I think that's playable as well. I saw a... Um, looks like that arcade machine is called Ninja... Uh, 8-Bit Ninja. And there's actually a... Uh, achievement to get a high score on 8-Bit Ninja. So that's a playable arcade game in there as well. Which is pretty cool. But we need a green key card from somewhere. Get rid of that trailer so we don't need that anymore. So I hope you can see we're just around one small area here and there's just loads of stuff to do. Those little red bottles there, those red tanks are nitros. So if we hit that ramp, the nitro just gets applied straight away. So you just get a boost. So obviously that'll help you over the ramp. Uh, what we've got over here. We've got a barn. Can't do anything with that one. What's this here? Is that a generator? Oh, not sure what that is, but we just chucked it. Pick up a bin. But yeah, what I'll do with this one is I'll probably um, try and unlock some more areas. I haven't had the code very long, so um, I've only put in a, a couple of hours, but just been so enjoyable. I just wanted to bring you an early heads up on it. But as the release date is uh, quite a while away yet, then what I'll do is uh, make another video with some other areas and vehicles and stuff later on. I don't know what that is. It's kind of begging me to drive up it. But if there's anything specific you want to see here... Oh, mud! Look at the vehicle deformation on the mud. Absolutely superb. Road closed. You can drive through the water. Let's brave it. Cleans the mud off. We'll have another look at the... Uh, map stuff in a sec just to see how far off we are from unlocking the next map pretty sure it's this um bar along the bottom so we're 17% I'm pretty sure that unlocks new maps when we get to those areas I think but I'll find out but I will definitely drop at least one more video on this before release date so hope you enjoyed this look at off the road unleashed on the Nintendo switch as I say please let me know below what you think of it and if you're gonna be picking this one up it probably wasn't on many people's radars just because these mobile driving games just Oh, I hit a nitro boost in. Um, aren't particularly great. But hopefully this one's going to change a few people's minds. Yeah, we died there. So it's probably a good place to finish it as we drown in the water. But there you go. Off the road unleashed. Thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye.